want to make your bathroom ADHD friendly for you or for someone else, here's some simple hacks that you can do. Number one, make sure that you can see all the important things, things that you want to use because of the fact when you have ADHD, you might glance around the room and miss something that you really want to use. And then you're going to wonder where it is and spend time looking for it. Also with ADHD, sometimes you have what's called object permanence where you put something down you just had and then because you can't see it, you forget that it's there. And now you're trying just to remember, okay, what was I actually looking for? And so if you make things easy to see, then you are going to prevent that. Now, one of the best things that you can use to help you with this is going to be a Lazy Susan. A Lazy Susan has places on it generally where you can put a lot of different items. And so the cool thing about it is it spins. So if you don't see something on the front, you can spin it around, see what's on the side, see what's in the back of the Lazy Susan. And the other thing is because of the fact that it spins, it makes it really easy to access everything. And the other thing about this is it does save you space because now those things are on the Lazy Susan and organized. And one more thing about a Lazy Susan, they do come in different sizes and different functions. Sometimes you have one that's in your cabinet and helps you with your whole cabinet. And other times what you have is a Lazy Susan that sits on top of your counter and they come in different tiers. So you get a one tier one, two tier one, three tier one, whatever you want to use and whichever one is best for you. And now another thing that is a great hack is to decide where you want to put specific things because sometimes with ADHD, you forget where something is or you forget where you want to put something back. And so if you have this designated spot, it's gonna make it much easier to remember for each of these situations. Now, the other thing is some people put things in different places, like your friend might put towels and washcloths in a closet and you might put them under the sink or in a basket or wherever. And so you need to have that specific place so that you know where you need to go, where you have put that stuff. And now this is something that is going to help save time and make things easier for you is to roll your towels and washcloths. And the reason this is good for ADHD because when you have to do menial, boring tasks like fold clothes, fold washcloths, then it's just gonna make it a lot faster and easier just to roll them. And now this thing is essential to bathroom organization and for an ADHD friendly bathroom is to have baskets in the bathroom. And the cool thing is they allow you to see what's inside, easy to access, easy to store, and they save space. And you don't have to have something just perfect in the basket for organization. So they're great for holding towels and washcloths and soap and lotion and whatever. And the other cool thing is you can put them anywhere in the bathroom and you can get decorative ones if you want to as well. Now, something else as a must in an ADHD friendly bathroom are different types of caddies. One is a shower caddy. You keep all your toiletries and stuff in there. You have one outside the shower if you want or have one that stays inside the shower. You can hang it on a shower head. And the purpose of a shower caddy is to make sure you have everything so that you can take a shower and that you know that you have not forgotten anything that you need while you are in the shower. And another type of caddy is called a tub caddy and you keep this on your tub with everything you need to take a bath, whether it's soap or a bath bomb or whatever, or just maybe you like to read in a tub and you need to have your essential magazine there. And the cool thing is because a tub caddy sits on top of the tub, you have access to everything on it once you are in the tub. So let's say you wanna have dinner in the tub, then you can take it, put it on the tub caddy while you're in the tub, and have yourself dinner in the tub. And another thing that is essential and you must have in an ADHD friendly bathroom are different types of shelves. And there's two types that I think are really good. One is having floating shelves. And what a floating shelf is, is just a shelf that doesn't have any support under it. And it kind of floats on the wall, as you can see here. And the great thing is because you have the floating shelf in the bathroom, you're able to take stuff off the counter or just wherever and put it on the floating shelf, still have access to it. The other type of shelf that is good also is going to be a ladder shelf. And the reason it's called a ladder shelf because you have different steps going up at the top, it has a ladder top on it. And the great thing about both of these is they give you space to use that you couldn't normally use before. Floating shelves on the wall and a ladder shelf just in any space that you can find to put the ladder shelf. And the other thing about it is this is going to help you remember where things are and they're going to be easy to access. And another thing that's essential in an ADHD friendly bathroom are hooks. Whether you have installed hooks on your door or wall, whatever, or if you get the command hooks, the ones with the adhesive back that you're able to put on just anywhere, these are both very good options for hooks. And also something else is if you don't have enough space on the hook, then you can also do some hang in storage where you hang something on the hook that has more space in it. So then you can store more items on the hook than just the couple of things that you would normally store on one hook. And another must in the ADHD friendly bathroom is to divide the drawer into different sections. 
and this is going to help you keep your drawer organized because sometimes drawers just get messy and then you're trying to figure out, okay, where's the toothpaste I have, where's the band-aid that I have, and you're looking all over and you may not find even what you're looking for. If you have multiple drawers, that's even a bigger task and more difficult task. But if you have drawer dividers inside your drawers or even containers inside your drawers, then you organize things in there. You can make sure things go in the right section or right container and so that's going to make it much easier to find exactly what you want to find and now another thing that's essential in an adhd friendly bathroom is to get rid of all the things you do not need expired toiletries gifts you got that you're just not going to use you got this bath bomb and you're like man i'm never going to use that or you got some different type of shampoo and you're just like i don't really like it i didn't like the spell when i bought it and then i figured out i'm never going to use it all that stuff that just is not stuff that you're going to use or you don't need get rid of it give it to somebody throw it away whatever you want to do with it but you don't want it in your bathroom because it is going to take up space and if you keep it it's going to create clutter and so this is going to help you have more space in your bathroom and be able to help you keep things that you actually want to use in your bathroom. And another thing that's a must in the ADHD friendly bathroom is to label things. Have some worn out towels you want to donate, you put them in the basket, label it. Or you have a cabinet that you store certain things in, label that cabinet. Or if you have a shelf you have certain things on, label that shelf. Or just have containers, put a label on there as well. And the point of this is to remind you of where things go so it makes it easier for you to remember this time and also the next time you need to look for something or get something from that spot or container. And another thing that's a must in the ADHD friendly bathroom is to let yourself be creative. You don't have to design it like in a magazine or something you see on TV or whatever. Just let it be your creative zone and do what you wanna do that helps make you more comfortable, helps make your bathroom enjoyable to you. Now, this is only part of it. I do have another video that goes over how to make your room ADHD friendly and it tells you all the things that you can do in that process. Now you can watch that video right here.